Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. This is my honest review of the Nature Hike Ultralight Dual Height Stretcher, which I have used for several nights now. It is currently retailing on the Nature Hike Africa website for 2,499 Rand, so it is quite expensive. The biggest advantage of this particular stretcher is that it folds up really small. The packed size of this particular stretcher is really small. It's about the size of a sleeping bag, very easy to pack, and it weighs just over two kilograms. Obviously, because of the small packed size, it does require a bit more assembly than the stretchers that just fold out like a concertina. You do have to snap the poles together, insert those poles on either side of a long canvas sleeve, and then attach the stretcher elements of it, and then attach the extra height legs if you are using the full height stretcher. The reason why it is called a dual height stretcher is because it can just use the stretcher attachments as feet. It just then becomes very low to the ground. I never used it like that because for me, the whole reason I use a stretcher is so that it is a bit elevated from the ground and I don't have to go all the way down to the ground and back up again when I'm getting in and out of my bed. Once the stretcher is set up, I find that the canvas part of it is really nice and taut. It is drum tight. It has never sagged so far. I feel very secure sleeping on it. It doesn't stretch throughout the night and I find it very comfortable. The round poles that go into the canvas sleeves on either side are also very comfortable. Because they're round, it doesn't really matter even if you end up having some part of your body quite close to the edge of the stretcher. The canvas itself is not scratchy and the round poles are not scratchy. So that is extremely comfortable. One thing that I will say is that you might want to test out setting up the stretcher before you buy it. It does require a little bit of strength to attach the frame stretcher elements to the two poles on the canvas part because obviously it is meant to be a really tight stretcher. I am able to do it on my own and I am definitely not the strongest person out there. I have arms like cooked noodles, but it does require quite a bit of strength to get it in there and I think perhaps you also just have to find the correct technique, whether you're standing on the inside or the outside of the stretcher, working with it close to you or far away, that sort of thing. Something that you do want to watch out for when you are setting up the stretcher is that those stretcher elements at the bottom that have the little red beam, that red beam needs to be in a certain orientation to make the stretcher taut. If it is the opposite way around, you will be able to attach them to the stretcher really easily, but then the canvas top of it will be really loose and floppy. And if that is what's happening, then you definitely have those red beam things the wrong way around. While I do really like the stretcher, there is one thing that has happened since I've been using it that does irritate me a bit. The little tabs that you pull over the ends of the poles to hold them in place inside of the sleeves, one of them has had the stitching fail. So that particular tab no longer functions as it should. It doesn't really keep the pole inside of the sleeve and you have to kind of mess around with the pole slightly to get it into the correct place when you are putting the stretcher together. I think for a stretcher that is this expensive, the stitching should be better in that area. I probably will be able to fix it myself, but it was disappointing that that happened. I hope that Nature Hike has a look at those particular tabs in future and makes sure that they are sewn to a bit of a higher standard. In order to make it such a small package, the dual height legs completely detach from the stretcher frame and are just loose in their own little bag inside of the stretcher bag. And that is nice in some ways because you can take that out completely and leave it behind if you're trying to save weight. The one thing that is kind of irritating though with that design is that it is a little bit easy to lose those legs. I've never actually lost one 
but when I've been setting up the stretcher in the dark at night in the tent, they kind of roll everywhere across the tent and I have to go and locate each one. There are 12 of them, so there are quite a few of them to keep track of. Overall, I do really like the stretcher. I do wish that they would perhaps take a little bit of a closer look at the stitching, but I do think overall it is quite a solid stretcher and I would recommend it to people. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future.